So something unusual for the new year. We're here in Sturminston Newton at the uh, classic or vintage car show, which is on every year on New Year's Day. And it's an amazing to see some of the old vehicles that are here. And I'm here with my dad today, who's 96, and he remembers a lot of these cars. In fact, he owned a lot of these cars. <laughs> I did. Didn't you? <laughs> yeah, that's this true. This one, an Austin Morris 1000. Yeah, they are Morris 1000. Austin Morris 1000. It's even got a tax disc in the window, December 69. Oh, God. Fix here, look, look at this. This is a Triumph Stag. And next door to it is a Ford Capri that I had one exactly the same. I actually took a Ford Capri to Turkey and, um, and I gave it to the government rather than bringing it back. Ibietum, yeah? This is the three litre version. I think mine was only a 1600. Look at that, the old Ford Capri. <laughs> so we've got two TR6s here. Strangely enough, 91,000 of these were produced. Only 8,300 were sold in the UK, the rest went to America. Look at that lovely old MG. I think this is an MG TD midget. Look at that, lovely inside. And it used to do 0 to 60 in 19 seconds. 1950 model this is. A top speed of 77 miles an hour, which wasn't bad for that time. And if you're thinking to restore an old vehicle, this is often what they look like before you start the restoration work. Ah. This has definitely got a story to be told with all those bullet holes in it. Yeah. Look at that, Morris Cowley. Do you think that's as old as you, Dad? I should think so. What, 1926? Look at that, still got its original leather seats by the look of it. The Jensen Interceptor. Look at those wheels. Top speed of 135 miles an hour. They were way before their time, weren't they, these? Can't believe that these cars were made so long ago. Just look at that inside. And an automatic gearbox. Look at the shape of the back seat, it's amazing. This is a Morris Minor, but it's a soft top. Yeah, this is the soft top version. Look at the little engine it's got. The Morris Minor was initially built in 1948. TR4A, that's a Triumph TR4A. Look at that emblem. The TR4A, which was produced between 1965 and 1967, was a 2.1 litre engine. What a lovely car. They won quite a few races with this vehicle. What do you think to that, Dad? Beautiful, isn't it? It's a TR4. <laughs> oh, yeah, beautiful. Called the Bullnose Rover. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's the like Rover yeah. 100. Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. The Bullnose Rover. I can't oh. remember what engine that has in it. Powerful car could achieve a hundred miles an hour and it also had front disc brakes i don't know if we can see inside this one it's locked <laughs> yeah. look at that old wall thing they even got pe even got people sitting in this one <laughs> oh, lovely car that works yeah. what's the condition they're in so that looks so wonderful <laughs> is it your vehicle? It is indeed. Wow, what year was this made? 1960. 1960 when I was born? Yeah, it was March 1960. <laughs> wow, that was the year I was born. Well, I'm looking for one that's as old as me dad, but he was born in 1926. So, <laughs> look at that, that's a Volvo Little Sports as well. Yeah, yeah this is mine, Volvo. Is it yours? It's yeah. What, what, what year was this made? 68. 68? Yeah. Wow, look what a beautiful car. Yeah. What engine's this got in it? 1800. An 1800, wow. Powerful, yeah. Wow, I've, powerful. I've, I haven't seen many of them, yeah. to be no, quite honest. Not many of them. They're a rare car, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so I Lovely. used to own it 30 odd years ago. Wow. And I bought it back off the owner oh. um, <laughs> for three years ago and restored it. Brilliant. He put it away in his garage for 29 years. Oh. And I went in So that was a bit of luck. Oh, it's yeah. in lovely condition. Yeah. 
I'm amazed they have a wonderful condition, most of them are. Yeah. What a beautiful vehicle. Yeah, it'd be good. Yeah, it's in, my neck. A lovely TR6. I love the sound effects. <laughs> All these different sounds they have as well. Look at that. That's it from the Vintage Collar Show here in Sturmiston, Newton, in Dorset in the UK. Thanks for watching, and me and Trudy will be back in Turkey very soon to continue our travel programs. Please like and subscribe.